you're looking for factors, common factors. What is the greatest number of x factors in any one of these terms? Three. Oh, this one here. Well, the greatest number, this one only has three x's, x times x times x. What's your point? That x cubed is the greatest common factor of x's in all three terms. So you can't go higher because it's less than x cubed. Yes, you can't go higher than the lowest exponent. Um, but, okay, so, so you always so, use the lowest exponent, you're saying? Yes. Like right. no, no, oh, six, no, it's 20. Three times twenty-four, and then what? X to the six. Artur is very good at this game. Okay, plus three x cubed no, times what? Oh, Jeremy, excellent, Jeremy. You sounded very Ukrainian there for a moment. Um, so three x plus five is that all? X cubed. Yes. Can you please get a new mark for plus three? Yeah. Yeah, it might be good. Plus three. Amanda says. And yes, I can get a new marker. Actually, no, that one's not quite dead enough to throw out yet, but I do have a new black one. Do you need a new color besides black? I got some colors, but I'll try to break those out tomorrow. Okay, now, double check. Does 24x to the 6th plus 5x cubed plus 3 have any other factors in common that we might have missed besides 1? No. No? Okay. All right, so you guys good at finding the greatest common factor? Okay. Again, what this is used for, we'll get back to it. Now, that was the easy part. May I erase this? Yeah. Ladies, cross chatter getting a little distracting to me. Thank you. Okay. Brand new marker for number two. Way to go. Sum or difference of cubes. I don't think you're going to like how this is being done. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. You have to change your desk if you do it again sometime. Mm -hmm. Some are different. Look like uh, for the Batman TV show, the villain's hideouts where they were always crooked. I'm just old. Okay. Um, yeah. Some are difference of cubes. Do you guys remember if we had a summer difference of squares factoring pattern? Yeah, we had the difference of squares. Difference of squares. What was that like? <laughs> Just to go back a little bit, what was the pattern for difference of squares? Like x plus something. Anybody remember? Amanda remembers that it existed. She does not remember what it was. No, I can, what I was can it? show you what it was. Like if I gave you a squared minus b squared, can you tell me what that would break down to? It equals a minus b. A minus b and? Squared. No, that would be, oh, that's times, a trinomial. Times a plus b. Times a plus b, right. That was difference of squares factoring pattern. We're going to do cubes in a minute. And then there was no sum of squares. I'm putting this up here now. So a squared plus b squared equals nothing we're going to worry about. Okay? Um... Putting this up here now to help you not get confused with the sum or difference of cubes, because they have a different pattern. Um, the pa okay, the pattern with sum or difference of cubes is, if I have a cubed plus b cubed, if I have a cubed plus b cubed, and a can be anything, it will most commonly be x cubed. This will break down to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. If you see a cubed plus b cubed, you can always break it down to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. This is going to be one that will be a little bit hard to see. To make sure I wrote that correctly. Yes, I did. Okay, and I will give you a hint on this one, okay? This quadratic, notice how you get a binomial here and a quadratic here. This can never be factored any further. This part can never be factored any further. So you, you, you can stop trying at this point. Okay? Now, it's actually, otherwise you'll, if you try to pull out the, um, the uh, quadratic formula, you'll get imaginary solutions. It'll be a mess. Okay, now here's the other one. Can I go to the bathroom? Yes.
a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. If you don't believe me that these works, that these work, pull out the mad distributive property skills that you all showed last Thursday and Friday, multiply this out, and everything should cancel except for a cubed and b cubed. Who's going to erase anything yet? I will not. In fact, I'll continue on this board. So, Becca, you might have to take over the cinematography and follow me here. Or we might just have to hand it to someone to see this board. So I'm going to leave those up there. All right. Thank you, Eliza. Jordan wanted to try her mad, her mad cinematography skills. Um, okay. So I won't erase this, but I will start with an example. Here's a pro part of the problem is, I know you guys at some point in your lives were asked to memorize the perfect squares. No. No. Never? No. I know at some point you guys should have been asked <laughs> to memorize some of the perfect squares. No. Okay. So basic ninth grade algebra one maybe. So basic, but you you guys get that like one squared is one. Yeah. Yeah. Two squared is four. Nine. Sixteen. Twenty five. Thirty six. Forty nine. Sixty four. Eighty one. One hundred. One twenty one. One forty four. One sixty nine. One ninety six. All right. Um, That's great. I'm glad you. Okay. The perfect cubes are a little bit harder. All right. I will decide before the test later this week. Um, Later this week. Uh, test is either Friday or Monday. I'll check. But we're not Monday. doing anything. Monday. I uh, will check. I don't know. Maybe it's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Okay. Stop. It's not an auction. Um, mm. the, um, Just finish. I'll decide how many cubes you need to know without a calculator. But if I give you one, say, x cubed minus 125. Anybody know if 125 is a perfect cube? Um, I think it is. Hang on. I have to... Any guesses? What would it be? Oh my lord. Okay, guys, 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. Okay? So that means that this is x cubed minus 5 cubed. So according to that pattern over here, it's a difference of cubes. It is, um, therefore, x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x plus 25. The x squared came from the a squared over here. So that's a perfect square. Actually, no, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Good question. This is actually an irreducible trinomial. This cannot be factored far enough. Yeah, if you had a 10 here, it would be. They always look close to a perfect square trinomial, but they never are. Um, these will always have imaginary solutions in these two, only in these two cases. Okay? Now that one is not too hard to see, assuming you recognize 125 is a perfect cube. Um, do another one that's fairly simple, I hope. If I give you x cubed plus 64, any idea what? 64, if that is a perfect cube or not. It is. Eight. No, it's not. No, that's a square. It's eight not. times eight. It's not. It's not. It's not? What's four times four times four? 64. 64. 64. Okay, so this is, so this breaks down to x plus four times x squared minus four x plus 16. The a times b gives me my middle term. The 4 squared gives me the 16. This always looks to me like it should be factorable, but it's not. You were killing my Wait, what? No, if, you, if there's an there. Yeah, I can't break down, I can't break this down any further. That's one of the things about these sum and difference of cubes. They always leave you a leftover quadratic that only has imaginary solutions. Yes? Yeah, I was just noticing that too. I did when I got in, but not enough apparently. But it feels good. Oh, chill. Okay. When you write mi now, minus four x plus sixteen. Like, how do you, how do you get that? Yeah, this part. Okay. Here's. I'm glad you asked. Okay. A cubed minus b cubed. First off, you got to be able to figure out what the cube roots. Okay. What a and b are if you're looking at a cubed. Now, if you're looking at x cubed, okay, it's pretty easy to see that a equals x. Okay. If you're looking at sixty four, it's a little bit trickier. That, and see that b here is 4. If 64 is b cubed, 